Hey guys and welcome to Let's Make a First Person Shooter with Game Maker Studio Part 4. I hope you're all excited for this one. I am. It's been so long since I made a video so let's get started. Sprites as usual. I'm gonna say it again. They are very simple. I've got an explosion here which is gonna be awesome. I'm gonna show you guys. You know what? I'm gonna show you right now. How about that? Just make a few quick adjustments. I don't want this to be in full screen right now. Sorry if my computer's recording isn't very good. It's just my computer has been dying a little couple of uh, weeks lately, so that's very unfortunate. I might have to uh, buy a new computer soon so I can make better videos for you guys. So I'm gonna show you what this game is. As you can see, there's this guy charging up at me right from the beginning, from the get go. Well, as you can see, there's this level here that I made for you guys with some graphical effects like. Uh, lens flares that hide behind uh, pillars like these and you can jump of course on obstacles and you may think that that was the only enemy but when you press B enemies start spawning so there's that guy and yeah you can shoot through walls right now but you're gonna fix that real soon or you can do that yourself just do as you wish why did I show you guys that explosion effect in the beginning? Well, I'm gonna show you right now. You can throw grenades in this game like this. You press right mouse button and boom, there they go. As you can see, they kind of explode and stuff like that. So yeah, that, that happens. But you can explode yourself too. Watch this. Ooh. So that's something, yeah. This, as you can see, this is very simple. There's these... Uh, voxel based uh, enemies that just you can see them through walls like so you would know where they are they, they tend to get stuck sometimes but you can fix that yourself or you just ask me how to fix that so I'm not really sure at the moment I'm sorry so yeah that's basically it this is a little example of a first person shooter so yeah let's get a let's get to the tutorial itself Let's go to the sounds. There's three sounds. The sound of a pistol, the sound of an explosion, and the music on the background. It's TNT by ACDC. It's a media file. It's a very good song. Uh, so yeah, I, I cannot use it, unfortunately, due to YouTube's broken copyright system. So yeah, that's very unfortunate, but there's a, definitely a video of that song somewhere on YouTube. So let's go. Floors. As you can see, there's this medieval uh, style floor texture. And the ceiling, of course. Um, as usual, my cursor has disappeared. You can probably see it in the recording, but I can't see it. Yeah, there it is. Walls, there's a simple wall texture. Lens flare and the hand. The handgun itself, it's very small texture, actually. Uh, frag texture, this is also a very small texture. Well, I made it uh, like this because my computer isn't very good. Oh, this is kind of a bigger texture already. Yeah, ground. Just very basic sprites. Well, there's nothing interesting here, only this one. This one kind of is, I guess. This draws outlined text, which could be very useful when you know how to use it, of course. Font score, it's basically this font. I really like it. It's some kind of Resident Evil style font, and I really like Resident Evils. They're good games, the first three ones, and four, of course, definitely. So let's go to the most inter interesting part. It's the objects, of course. Um, you can see this um, global breather. This is basically the spawning system. When the breather is true, no enemies will spawn, and when it's false, actually enemies will spawn. So yeah, that's something I did that for you guys. Yeah, sure. Lighting ambient 16 is just basically very dark gray color. So I did this so that the uh, the place that the places that aren't lit very well aren't going to be totally black. They're going to be dark gray, which looks a lot better. Lots of models here, and as you can see, I have the music here ready to go, but I just couldn't play it, of course, well, as I explained. I'm sorry if you hear a lot of mouse clicks. I have a new microphone. It's a Blue Yeti, and it kind of picks up some sounds, like me uh, blowing into the microphone and uh, me clicking on stuff, so I'm sorry about that. End game, well, if you press escape, it ends the game. Look around, you've seen this one. Falling, this gravity stuff. If you can see it, here it is, enlarged. Uh, from what I've gathered, I've seen that um, 
most of you guys watch my videos for only about 50 seconds or maybe a minute at max and then you I, I guess you download the file from Google Drive or something but uh, it's kind of difficult I'm trying to explain it to you guys and uh, I know that some of you are probably watching this as well so thank you very much for watching by the way it's just kind of unfortunate to me because I've get I get a lot of questions about how to do stuff privately and uh, I basically explained that in the video as well so that's kind of something I wanted to address but yeah it's not a big deal so here's something if you press the left mouse button you will shoot you have unlimited ammo and uh, if you wish to add some ammo I've done uh, that in FPS tutorial number two so if you just combine that one to this one that's very good works very well and this just controls yeah yeah that's something here's collision code start in variables this is the light color this is the range of the colors and this is the Z worth of the colors so it basically has nothing to do with the player himself it's basically all for lighting set the projection stuff like that and drawing the gun and the GUI of course well that's not very interesting though is it so let's go to the next object that we have object lights basically all the same it's just this this thing here oh and if you wanted to know how I did the uh, lens flare behind objects it's basically the collision line code right here where's my cursor I'm sorry that happens a lot here it is collision line when there's a this object parent solid in the way it, when there's a collision line between the player and its own position well then it just disappears and then when that collision is no longer there well then it uh, just fades back in here comes the interesting thing here's the frag grenade <coughs> excuse me so it loads the model of the frag grenade and uh, texture of the frag right here and here it goes so uh, so it falls down with this code minus one so that means it will just slowly fall towards the ground and when it blows up it'll just make a sound of an explosion and create some explosion effects like the explosion the smoke and the ground and I'll show you if you want to uh, increase the amount of time you have before this thing goes off you should increase the weight this is basically uh, two seconds uh, if you wanted this to be like four seconds it should be 240 if you want one second it's 60 uh, and so forth so basically 60 is one second this is two seconds and then we have to draw a thing oh that's not very that, that's nothing actually this is when it bounces but bouncing is really bad it doesn't really bounce it just yeah it, it just falls straight back to you so it, it no it's not very good explosion effects well it's just this you should take a look at it, it yourself because I can't really explain how it actually works I'm very sorry about that I just know it does and uh, you should just take a look at it yourself it's pretty cool and this is the bullet and uh, you've seen this bullet in probably all my tutorials so far where there we go so yeah, and the room of course I've added a little sandbox for you this is basically nothing this is just for testing you can place all your own objects in that one it just doesn't do anything special so yeah, that was a tutorial already I really hope you like my new audio quality it's my new blue Yeti got it for my 18th birthday yes it was my birthday last week January 20th so yeah um, I really hope you guys like this tutorial if you did please leave, remember to leave a like it really helps me out a lot and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.